Well, this morning, Missouri hospitals are treating 989 COVID-19 patients. That is a 64% drop since the first week of January. Now, in the Kansas City Metro, the daily average of new hospitalizations is down to 96. However, the Metro is reporting an unusually high number of new cases, more than 5,600. The Mid-America Regional Council says that's because of a delay in a month's worth of data from one county. In Clay County, a plan to get coronavirus vaccines into arms continues today. Kami Stan's Martin Augustine live in North Kansas City ahead of the clinic hosted by Operation Safe. And Martin, we know that more than 10,000 people have already gotten shots. Good morning. Yeah, good morning, Rob. It's been a pretty successful campaign so far, but still a lot of work to do for Operation Safe as it fires up its second of four COVID-19 vaccination clinics here on the Cerner campus today. We're right across the street from North Kansas City Hospital. Now, Operation Safe we need to emphasize offers appointment only clinics, no walk ups. So the first step in arranging an appointment is completing a vaccine interest form. You'll find those on the Clay County Health Department's website, clayhealth.com under the Operation Safe heading. Now, a lot of you have done that already. 80,000 submissions of that form so far, and of those, nearly 10,500 of you have received a shot. Now, Operation Safe is a coordinated effort by Clay County cities and other entities, such as North Kansas City Hospital, Cerner, and William Jewell College, with the expressed purpose of trying to get as many people vaccinated for COVID-19 as possible. But everything starts with that vaccine interest form. Once you do that, then Operation Safe can kind of sort you through the system, figure out if you're eligible for the shot, and if you are, get you scheduled for an appointment. Reporting live, Martin Augustine, KBC 9 News. All right, thanks so much, Martin. Well, Kansas City, Missouri's Vaccine Task Force will present its recommendations to the City Council this afternoon. The meeting starts at 2. Mayor Quentin Lucas assembled the task force last month in an effort to make sure that everybody gets a fair shot at getting vaccinated against the coronavirus. And happening today, Governor Parson will get a first-hand look at the vaccination effort in Missouri. He has a series of stops scheduled in St. Louis today. First, he'll head to Pfizer's Chesterfield facility and then two mass vaccination events. I'll give an update from the state capitol after his visits. And this morning, the governor is standing by his claims that the vaccine has been administered equally and officially to Missourians across the state, despite numbers showing a smaller percentage of doses going to larger communities based on population. Here in the Metro, the governor says that we get more than 14,000 doses per week. It's sent to places like Truman Medical Center, Liberty Hospital, St. Luke's HCA, and the Cass Regional Medical Center. And today also, Kansas Governor uh, Laura Kelly, we know, is uh, going to, uh, we know uh, Laura Kelly is going to make an announcement as well. Uh, we know that, um, uh, we know that that is going to happen. It's, um, it's going to be on vaccine efforts in the state. It's at 4 p.m. Of course, we are going to have any updates uh, on our later newscast. All right, and uh, meanwhile, um, we know that, um, let's, uh, let's see, uh, we know that uh, planners for the city and state mass vaccination clinics are starting to see a repeat problem. We know that organizers at Cerner's and mass vaccination events say that people have been showing up uninspectedly, which is creating a backlog. You know, the Cass County also saw a few people do the same, but organizers say that most, most people there, they had appointments scheduled and that everything else they needed to receive a shot. And this morning, the governor is standing by his claims that the vaccine has been administered equally and officially to Missourians across the state, uh, despite numbers uh, showing a uh, smaller percentage of doses uh, going to larger communities based on population. Well, here in the metro, the governor says that we get more than 14,000 doses per week. It's sent to places like Truman Medical Center, Liberty Hospital, uh, St. Luke's, um, HCA again, and the Cass County uh, Regional uh, Center as well. Uh, by the way, I uh, want you to know uh, that uh, we'd already mentioned that, by the way, we know that you have questions about the vaccine. Know that we are working night and day to get you answers on our website. We're also posting state and county specific information on vaccines from local health officials. Now that includes who will qualify for a vaccine as well as how and when to sign up. You can find all of this at kbc.com slash vaccine.